a tough game for our team. Very difficult this week in practice. We didn't have a very good week of practice. Probably the worst week we've had since in the, in the last few years because of our injuries. And uh, Isaiah Collier only practiced basically half a practice yesterday and was out for three days with his injury. He was able to play tonight, but uh, Kobe and Boogie. And so this week of practice uh, uh, leading up to the game was not good, and then we didn't play any better today. Uh, we deserve to lose this game uh, by the way we played. Offensively, especially, you can't shoot 28%, have seven assists and 16 turnovers. And uh, uh, it's frustrating. I know our players are very upset. Uh, and uh, it's on me. I got to figure out how, even, even though we're shorthanded, uh, figure out how to have better practices and then obviously have to execute better uh, offensively during the game. Andy, with all of these players on your team this year, is the chemistry seem like it's taking a little bit longer to, to, to develop, even though you guys won two games, but it seems like. You have a little more time getting the chemistry going. No, uh, we have good chemistry. Uh, Vince, this is Vince's first game back mm -hmm. in many months. He hasn't, he didn't play in our first couple games. Uh, so, so he's basically a new player now uh, because he's been out for so long. And then we have four freshmen. Uh, Bronny's yeah. been out, and then when you take Boogie Ellis and Kobe Johnson out, uh, you're, you're uh, now we have the only guards on our. We had Harry Hornery playing, uh, Harrison Hornery playing guard tonight the whole game, most of the game, and and everybody's playing down one or two positions. Meaning instead of a four, they're playing a three. Harry's playing a, the one, two, and three for us tonight. He's really a he's really a four, combo forward, and DJ is a combo forward playing the, the shooting guard, and Josiah Sellers is playing the point guard. He's he's a you know, so everybody had to play down a few positions, and, and so it was, it was a little difficult because some of our offensive actions. Uh, Isaiah Collier was really the. the if you look at our uh, playmakers, uh, our three, uh, three of our best playmakers were not in the game, meaning Kobe, Boogie Ellis, and Bronny. Uh, and, and so that, that was a little hard as far as our playbook goes because we just didn't have the uh, uh, playmaking that, that we normally have. But that's still no excuse for missing open, open shots and not finishing around the basket. Like our, uh, our guards missed open threes, they missed open shots in the lane, and our bigs didn't finish around the rim either. So uh, no excuses, we were to play better. Right? You can't go. Uh, you can't shoot the way we did uh, and, and expect to, to beat a good team. Coach, uh, when it comes to Isaiah, he had uh, seven of his 16 turnovers. Do you think it's kind of him playing a little bit too fast with the guys being out, trying to make you know more plays than usual? Well, yeah, he uh, look, he, he only practiced half a day yesterday. He's been hurt the whole week. He hurt himself. He banged knees in our last game. Um, I thought he gave a good effort. You know, he, uh, he got tired. He got started cramping up. So it's hard for us because we're trying to get him breaks, but at the same time, uh, he's the only guard we had in there that, uh, that, that, that is a playmaker because the other three are, were hurt. So uh, it, wa it was challenging with, with Isaiah's uh, game tonight because I, I think he wore down. Uh, you know, I, he, t he had a tough turnover late. I probably should have called timeout. I gave him a lot of freedom because he's such a dynamic playmaker. We had two guys open, and, and I should have just stopped it there, but I didn't. I, I let him play through, and I think we turned it over again. So. Uh, uh, that's on me. I, I just uh, uh, it, it was it was frustrating because uh, uh, when, when we did execute, we would miss a wide open shot, and, and that became very very frustrating for our players. And I think uh, you know some of their confidence went a little bit as the game wore on. Coach, how do you get Ozaya going? It seemed like you needed him tonight, and he just wasn't hitting shots. Well, Ozaya's a very good basketball player. He went one for eleven, zero for six from the three. And he, like I, he has to go out and make shots, and, and uh, he. They're wide open looks. Most of probably out of the six threes he took, I'd say at least five were wide open. You know, and so uh, he had a great game last game at 16 points, shot the ball well, and tonight he just didn't have it. With Isaiah, what, for you as a coach, what's it like to kind of go through the process of him being a freshman, but also having such a big role on the team? You know, teaching him and kind of learning as you as you go on the fly. What's the challenge? Well, the nice thing about Isaiah, he has uh, two experienced guards with him, Boogie Ellis and Kobe Johnson. So he doesn't have to do. We can't rely on him to do have that much responsibility for playmaking uh, like he did tonight. Uh, Boogie's an All-Conference player, and Kobe was preseason as well. And, and those guys, you know, they had our first game against Kansas State, Boogie had 24. Uh, eight rebounds. Kobe Johnson had uh, 16 points, eight rebounds, and four steals. And you know, and, and so we, we uh, uh, have to uh, do a better job of uh, uh, you know, probably getting the ball inside. But once again, our big guys weren't finishing tonight either. So uh, tonight was a, a game. Hopefully, we'll learn from. Uh, but Isaiah is, uh, is. We can't 
we, we have other good players in this team. And tonight, unfortunately, uh, uh, some of the guys just didn't shoot the ball uh, the way they're capable. Is there any sense of when Kobe and Boogie? Uh, oh, we back? hope soon. We hope soon. You know, we deal with these injuries. Uh, we don't like to play guys that uh, uh, unless they're, they feel great and, and it's not worth it. Um, but we've had some unfortunate injuries. Just, just, uh, just even Isaiah Collier was hurt, so we we weren't sure he was going to play until mm -hmm. late yesterday. We thought we'd be out with all three of them, um, mm -hmm. and, and so it's been been frustrating. Coach, um, turnovers have been a problem for the offense so far through the first three games. How something? How does that? How do you fix that going forward, especially entering Pac-12 play next month? Well, it's it's uh, when, when players get sped up. That's usually when bad things happen. They take tough shots. They, they, they make bad decisions with their passing. And, and so there has to be a, 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 a skill set where they can get to where they want to go on the court, but then be able to slow down mentally and, and make the right play. And uh, sometimes freshmen have a tough time doing that early in their career, uh, but that's a growing process. And we expect them to get better at it. I don't Coach, think. Coach, uh, Harrison knocked down a huge four point play. Uh, down eight with a little over five minutes to go. What did you see out of Harrison tonight? He's improved every year. He's a junior. He's a very, very uh, skilled player. And his defense has improved dramatically for, since last year and his first year. And I thought he played a really tough game tonight. He made shots. He was tough. He, he boxed out. He uh, blocked, the, uh, I think he blocked three shots. Uh, so, so, you know, he, he, he's a guy that can play put him in different positions. As I said, he, he played the one, two, and three, and four tonight. He played four positions for us because he, uh, we were so short-handed. So to have a guy like that to come off your bench, and he started last game, but he was going to start tonight. But then we, and Boogie, we, Boogie couldn't play, and, and so we, we tried to start. He was the only guard we had. He was really a forward, had to play guard tonight for most of the game. So we, had, we brought him off the bench, and then uh, he, he had a great, uh, great effort on his part. Really proud of him. What do you need to see from Arrington Page? I don't think he played in the second half. Uh, yeah, he, uh, yeah, he, he just needs to keep learning. He's very talented, uh, very, very talented. So he has to keep learning, and uh, we hope he's going to be a great player. What are some of the improvements you've seen from Josh Morgan from last year to this year? Well, Josh is a, is a uh, uh, his rebounding is getting better. He had ten rebounds tonight, nine defensive, and he's always been a very good shot blocker. He understands ball screen coverage. He's very good in position. And uh, his offensive game is expanding. He's averaging about 10 points a game for us. I think he double figures first two tonight. He had eight. So he's shooting, I think he's uh, now 14 for 17 from the field. That's pretty pretty efficient. Last question. Irvine's a very experienced team. They played together a lot in Oregon last year. Uh, how, do you, how did you see kind of their experience and their cohesion show up tonight? Well, uh, they played a very good game. They made some tough shots. Uh, Han got hot. Uh, he was 25 points, made some tough shots. Give him credit. And then their big guy, I was able to finish around the rim. Uh, they only had two guys in double figures. Uh, but this is more about us. You can't shoot 28% from the field and, and uh, expect to be a good team like this. All right. Thanks, Coach.